So in this video, I'm going to show you how to work on the turn. So the difference between working on the turn and the round, I'll explain shortly. I've worked my chains and I've just worked some double crochets into those chains. So I'm going to twist, I'm going to turn my walk. So, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. When you're right-handed, you will work from left, from right to left. When you're left-handed, you'll work from left to right. It's just a form of direction. When you're working on the turn, you are turning your work like so, so that you can work in the direction of your stitches. To create the height, we call we do what's called a turning chain. So if, for instance, I'm using double crochet, so I will be working one chain and then I will work back in and do a double crochet, like so. The reason why it's called a turning chain because the purpose of that chain is for the turning. It's for us to create the height or the wall of that stitch so that we can then continue working at the same height ratio rather than it being pulled down because its starting point is, is lower down. So to, to create the sim similar height, we use the chain method, the turning chain method to give us that. But we don't count it as a stitch. We just use it as a height regulator. And then I just work into each stitch head, creating double crochets. OK, so a double crochet is you take your, your hook and you go underneath your stitch head. So your stitch head, according to our anatomy, is you've got that um, the V shape there. Can you see it there? So you take your wool, take your hook and you go underneath. So it takes you through the third loop there and you have your V stitch there on top. You pull your wool through. You always pull your wool through with crochet. You're not always doing yarn over, but you will always be doing um, a pull through so yarn over and pull through and then you just yarn over and finish that stitch so go through if you're doing a treble you do that first but we're not doing that first we're going through pull through and then yarn over to finish the stitch and that is your double crochet stitch used um, a lot in amigurumi which is toy making because it's a closed down stitch it's a simple stitch um, <clears throat> and it's also used as the moss stitch in crochet as well. So it's yarn, take your hook through and yarn over. And then when you come to the end, you need to find that last V and then just, there you go. And then you turn again, like so. We will be working during this course, working in the round, which means that our work will always be facing us and we'll be going around the corners like so. So we will start a row and then we will come back to the end of that row and then we will create the height and then continue to work in the round, growing it like a pyramid effect. So that's your working in the turn and you can see how you turn things around. If you're working front facing, you'll be working um, constantly in the same direction. So in this case, we've got the back side of our stitches facing us and the front side. So it creates this lovely texture because you get the opposite side of the stitch working together in one make. Whereas when you're working front facing, your stitches will always have a front facing um, front facing you and the back side, you'll always know the back side from, from that. So there you go.